everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. As I've covered in other videos, we have a situation where, of course, the cancellation of Anime Expo's uh, Summer Jam for Nidhi Sanji has caused a big stir among fans of Nidhi Sanji, which, which it was bound to do this. Um, it appears safety concerns are a popular theory for cancellation. Obviously, don't harass the people who, who made the, 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 the tweets. Don't harass anyone who made the tweets. Of course not, because that's not what we do over here. But here's to say, saying that refunding over a thousand tickets to save face is idiotic. Low turnout has many factors, but not least of all, targeted harassment. I don't think that's the one. Smear campaigns making fans feel insecure about attending. I don't think that's the case. Honestly, I don't think that's the case. Uh, in the end, either way, this was a result of concentrated hate. Uh, and then, you know, this is what people are saying here. Continuing on, the reason for cancellation of the concert most likely is not related to ticket sales. This is what this person is is coping with. Canceling two concerts essentially last minute costs a lot of money and streaming a free concert is a lot riskier from a financial standpoint. They're doing the free concert to save face. That's a lot of these people don't understand. They're doing it to save face. It seems that they are prioritizing safety. We don't know. It feels like a safety move. Honestly, booths are very least open view. So con staff can intervene ASAP if they see anything happening on the floor versus many fans gathering in one place, probably with dim lighting, staff busy monitoring 3D stuff instead of the crowd. No, this isn't true. And I'll tell you why this isn't true. There are safety personnel, like actual security guards at every single venue, especially after, you know, the certain situation in 2001. There are a lot more of those. There are a lot of risks of actual you know, bad activity happening outside of fandoms. So there's always security. Security is always patrolling in these venues. I've been to several of these venues myself during concerts. Yes, Anime Expo staff is usually not going to be in there. They're just there from a managerial standpoint. They have actual hired security guards for the venue itself that the venue offers and gives you no other choice but to have there. And that is this whole safety thing is just BS in my, my opinion. And down here, it says BS. If it was harassment, they'd be canceling the booth as well. Exactly. It makes no sense. Otherwise, the convention itself would have done it as well if there was anything serious. I swear the amount of coping and excuses these people always say to defend this S company, my lord. Just as much as they believe COVID is the reason the AR cancellation happened and the Lord and Savior Riku's negligible oath. Exactly. All these things are just them seeing that there's not enough money for them to actually pay the venue. And like I was saying uh, in other videos, it is very likely that they looked at the calculations. They're like, is, does it cost more? Will it cost me less to cancel versus doing the stuff, going through all the, uh, all the effort and not, you know, and paying the actual venue, the full venue price, the full venue day versus the penalty, which would be less than what we would be paying the venue for those two days. I am guessing they went for the, for the penalty because every single venue has a penalty. When you cancel this close to an event, they have a penalty that's in the contract. They probably felt, you know what? Refunding and paying the penalty is less costly to us than actually putting the concert through. We don't know their calculations, so I don't know 100%, but this is what it seems like to me. We're going to be doing the cope quick shots here in the sense of, you know, the quick through all the cope they're having. The streets of AX are not safe with the gangs of dragoons and hollow unicorns roaming around the area. Mix of Doki Salen fans and hollow unicorns, they're the culprits. They've been harassing the GN fans and livers because the drama tuber channel spread and hate and misinformation. I certainly try not to. This is a good call to safety for everyone. Of course, it's again, their cope. And just this one person right here, I find it funny. Percy consumed 11 Nidhi sisters during the last month. Their fears are, unsubst are not unsubstantiated, to be honest. More cope. Nidhi canceled the AX concert, refunded the sold tickets 100%, and will rebroadcast everything for free on YouTube with special segment for people who bought the tickets. I respect them for putting the fan safety on top. But my God, if only it wasn't for those bullies. Again, cope. Big time cope. Unable to go to LA. All I did was buy the online tickets, so it's actually better for me to suddenly get the concert for free. But I'm angry on behalf of all the fans who booked their plane tickets or bought the convention tickets just for that. The fans were threatened. Yeah, they were not threatened. They weren't threatened. They weren't threatened directly. There was no, there were no credible threats. Just going to put that out there. Being objective, there were no credible threats. If you felt threatened, well, that's just on you more than anything. Um, they are doing the... Uh, the free YouTube concert thing is very good. It, it helps their PR from the canceled concert. Also, they'll be making a lot of money through Super Chats. So no need to worry about money for them. People are going to be Super Chatting it up uh, to them saying thank you for the concert thing. Thank you for all this kind of stuff. So Super Chats are going to go wild. And talking about the concert based on membership from all the community members posts. I've seen Niji collectively here. Sentiments about it. Thankful for their fans who go out of their way to support them. 
Sorry for everyone who bought the tickets to get inconvenienced. They're excited and looking forward to it too. They're preparing a lot of performances for the event. They will do their best in the future. They're saying that it was a tough decision to make. Letting everyone know about the free streaming online. The people who were, you know, the, the livers. These are the livers what they're doing. Uh, wishing everyone to enjoy AX regardless of what happened. This is their, not their exact words, but just the pointers of what I understand from their messages. This is Shu Yamino, uh, Luka Kaneshiro. Elira Pandora, that type of thing. Can't tell if you're being serious or just joking or sarcastic about the title. There are people in the subreddit who are, are still subbed member of the Livers. There are people of my community who are still subbed and members of the Livers. So I don't think that there's that much hate. Well, at least not in my community. My community is open to everybody who enjoys VTubers, whether it be Nidhi Sanji or the other thing. I just have my qualms with the company. Itself doesn't make them a Nidhi sister to NDF. It's the god-awful toxic behavior of not acknowledging the wrongdoings of what's going on and blaming everyone else, but the company themselves, while they are defending the company that makes them need these centers at EF. Exactly. When you see them as like a, like, they don't pay attention to anything wrong that the company's doing, and it's all everyone else's fault. That's the needy, needy sister, needy NDF stuff. Not if you're following, if you have an Oshi. If you have an Oshi that's in freaking uh, Nidhi Sanji, on my end, people hate me for saying this, but go and do your thing. An Oshi is a personal thing. Go and do it. I don't mind. I wish, the, I wish the concert was going on because that way you can enjoy it, you know? And continuing on, they say they want the harassment rat to be true when it's their side that's been harassed, that's been harassing, lying, blowing S out of proportion, and everyone who's not on the right side of the mint cord controversy, or the non-troversy, for instance, uses for fear mongering. We're literally fighting a cold war, nothing but words, misinformation, and fear. Peace is not an option, but it does, doesn't have to be uh, because threat is empty. We only have to keep going and pretend these people don't exist. Yeah, just pretend we don't exist. I'm pretty sure it's going to work better for you than what you've been doing right now. More continuation of fans doing, you know, what fans are going to do and fanboying and everything for the organization that was doing the concert. Now the JP fans are saying that EN concert was canceled due to threats of harassment. Uh, then I commented it was not the real reason. Then I got blocked immediately. See a speculation quite popular among JP fans. They're saying here pretty much that this that it is all due to harassment. And then they blocked the person. The Shirokuma EN blocked them. Uh, they just want validation, not the truth. Their fandom operation using it as a cult base. Yeah, it's basically becoming almost like a cult in the way that they follow their people. This is the way it seems to me. This is just my opinion, of course. It's not meant to be a fact, but it's an opinion. They are seen very much as a cult at this point. They won't hear anything except what they believe is the truth. Even they, can, even if they're antagonists and everything, if a, if a cult member said different thing, what they believe, they're narrowing their world vision only for what they're worshipped. They already can be called a Nidhi Sanji cult. I mean, I'm not defending them or anything. That's just how Twitter works. If an opinion doesn't align with them, then they just block you. That's what you call echo chamber. And I commented in a nice way. And I see that among JP fans. Cancellations due to threats are quite popular. What's worse is the borderline xenophobia and quote retweets talking about how foreigners are violent. Seriously, any color, the one you should blame for is the one you should blame for the disasters. Uh, why would they be focused on us? On, on the foreigners because well it's it's an easy attack it's easy to attack someone that is not a part of your group it's easy to attack them and blame them for everything that's going on because they are not a part of your group as i said so yeah that's why they do it foreigners are violent etc just to be clear s like this is pretty major outliers uh i was going through the comments on vstats jp article uh that covered the time period when the news dropped there was a long sub thread started comment number 146 there was one person mentioning the violence thing and then the dozen saying it's not incredible for various reasons Basically the same stuff we are saying. Basically, it's not credible because we don't. There are no credible threats. It would have been much better excuse than what was in the press release. So why wasn't it mentioned there? Why wasn't there a booth moved since it's next to hype booth? Yes, they know about the Doki Bird height relationship. There was a threat of violence. Why was there no warning from the expo or anything else official? A random Twitter post is not a good source. Five, the concert sold under 20%. There's already a good reason to cancel. So a lot of people are already showing that they have good good brains in their heads. They're actually doing this. Point is, it's easy to forget that most JP and Nikki really aren't all that different from us. They have good takes and bad takes and logical discussions. And of course, we're focusing on just a small subset of that group, which is Niji Sanji Defenders. Of course, you have to take the whole group and, you know, their cultists are going to be doing what the cultists do. Everyone else is going to be doing what everyone else does. The articles are here. The VStats articles are here in regards to the things that happened with the uh, with the Nidhi Sanji stuff. And the comments down here <clears throat> are saying what this person mentioned. This is taking a look at the Nidhi Sanji JP side more than anything. Now, they are really holding on to this. They're saying the reason for cancellation of the concert, most likely not related to ticket sales. After why the boots is still there, it's most likely because the concert is more of a large scale area which is easier to target. Yeah, no, like I said before, like I said before in different videos, the venue 
the, the, the actual concert venue, the concert hall, the area, the, 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 the part where the concert's going to be held has actual security guards that are patrolling. They have security guards for everything. They have metal detectors. They have bag checks. They have everything. So there's no chance of anything like that happening after a certain thing that happened in 2001. It has become the norm in every concert to have bag checks, to not allow water in, to not allow certain liquids in, to not allow, you know, a lot of things in there, to have um, a large amount of metal detectors. All those types of things are normal now. So there's less chance of this happening. People in JP don't understand that over here, but that's the way it is over here. The safety threat allegations, there's been a lot of rumors going around there. It's a perfect excuse for them to give that, oh, it's not Nidhi Sanji selling less tickets. It's Nidhi Sanji being threatened. That's why they're doing it. That's why the, the, the JP side really stuck to it. And they're starting to blame Doki Bird, as we know. Uh, Armchair said the next folk devil could be you. It happened. They decided, decided to cancel the event and label it unsafe environment to attend. Being post big, it was vague on purpose to make it so that people can make their own thoughts and ideas on it so they can be speculated on. They did it on purpose. It was intentional to do it that way so that it could be speculated on. Uh, saying the cancellation is the fault of previous mistakes and can't do anything about it would look really bad. So now you have people blaming Doki, you have people blaming fans. Um, they just said it wouldn't be able to deliver a good experience. So they didn't say it was unsafe, but they said it wouldn't be able to deliver a good experience. It's vague enough so people can make any decision based on that. Now we have the bulletin board, which is going crazy over everything that's happened in the context of the concert because these people are worried about the financial aspect of everything. Any color stock bulletin board reaction from the concert cancellation. Let's read what they say. It says, are they really canceling overseas because they're not selling well? They better off concentrating resources on the domestic market, meaning Japan. Texts were not sold at all, so they canceled it. Overseas expansion is over. Overseas business is hopeless. It looking favorable. Now it's time to sell. Booth is opposite of Doki Bird, whose subscriber numbers have increased since she was fired and announced yesterday a panel discussion will be held at the same venue. Amateurs stopped posting nonsense. The live concert at Anime Expo LA had been subject to many discussions to poor ticket sales. People are saying poor ticket sales. Says the source property can't write paste it URL, right if I delete it. Uh, they're no longer possible to provide optimal experiences. They don't want to say why the reason is. That's what these people are saying. So they're all pretty much, as you can see here, they're feeling sorry for the fans. They're saying it was a bad move. They're saying it was most likely because of low ticket sales. Um, it, a lot of people are already there. A lot of people already bought tickets. It's sad for them. You know, um, thought it would be the weekend. You know, the live shows didn't sell enough. They didn't need to worry about the financial situation of those who travel to the U.S. But it's painful to see them be betrayed by such a company. It is. Lots of lots and lots of messages here. All pretty much saying the same thing. They shouldn't have done this. They should have, um, you know, planned it better. They shouldn't have just, you know, gotten rid of it so quickly. Uh, if there were actual threats, they would have mentioned it. It will be open to schedule. So if it's due to a threat or harm, it will also need to be canceled, so it's not possible to open it. The official announcement never mentioned a threat. So it's basically, yeah, they're repeating the same thing again and again. Don't use Twitter as a source. Uh, don't use this little tweet as a source because it's just one person. Uh, it's nice information. There's a bunch of things going on here. Uh, only thing that's said to be harmful was already deleted before the cancellation was decided. If it's caused by threats, a lawsuit will definitely be filed against the person. Absolutely. But it's not threats. As you can see here, it's not threats. Even they're kind of wondering that it, it, what the heck is going on. And, you know, they're, they're still saying these things. Harm against the live streamer and his fans. But why didn't they release the information? Yeah, if it was actually threats, they would have released the information. Neither Expo or EN officials have actually mentioned threats. The Expo, do you think that they would actually not mention threats and say, you know, they would look better if they said there were threats, credible threats. We're briefing up security. You're safe. If they don't say anything, that means the threat was incredible. It's false rumors. Even the people on the, on the message boards are saying this. This is the JP finance bros, as I like to call them, the people who are actually investing in uh, any color. They're saying that if it was an actual threat, then of course they would have come out and said something. So yeah, it's not credible at this point. Continuation, quick continuation. How, why is this suddenly a an issue? <clears throat> if they really did cancel at this point, the penalty would have been written in the next accounting period. They had canceled earlier, setting tickets would have been a fraud. Needless to say, this is the reason why the tickets didn't sell, of course, which is the bad uh, amount of tickets sold means overseas concerts will no longer be possible in the future. If this means it's a possible precedent for not having them in the future, it's possible. The baseless rumor that they're saying that's being spread is the baseless rumor of it being uh, threats that caused it to stop. Since continues to expo itself was seen as a dangerous event. Um, like, yeah, they can't be spreading baseless threats like this because then it seems like the threat that the the, uh, the uh, event is no longer safe. Then then a lot of people aren't going to be showing up. Certain factor be quicker to suspect internal conflict first. Even if it's the kind of company they're receiving threats, they would first notify 
no notify the a actual expo is what they're saying here pretty dangerous to go around naming specific groups and spreading the word that this is a result of terrorist threats yeah it's not good <clears throat> not good to say it's, it's a result of that type of threat uh and yeah it's ba basically these people are saying they're just keeping spreading this type of stuff they keep making a fuss as you can see here they're mentioning all the fussing going about about this about you know one person one person mentioned that they were going to be aggressive and they're making it a big fuss about how it is for everybody and here's every single person saying you know that um that's what it is there was information circulating fans of former en were going to be doing threatening things these are all the Cro noir and other people saying the same thing it's basically it's not true they're all trying to blame nidhi sanji i mean they're all trying to blame like doki bird they're trying to blame that height is right next to doki bird's thing and that's why there is threats uh saying you know uh, about the recent uh they're saying all the stuff that we've criticized nidhi sanji for is the reason why there's so many threats going about this is just bs this is just freaking crazy I don't get why people uh, are this uh, this stuck into the whole mindset because uh, they couldn't find a fifth one. They, they're basically, yeah, they're basically, they're coping. It's a big cope. This is all their big cope session that they've had. And of course, the attempted defense is worse than any criticism. Um, they, it would look worse if they canceled it because of, you know, the, the things that it's being accused of canceling. Uh, because of one tweet from one random person canceling that event would look really bad. So I don't, I don't know why they think that would be the better choice out of everything. A mix of in, being a, uh, unable to recognize patterns along with seeing like a few bad examples, eggs in places, believing that we're all such. Yeah, it's the same way that I don't see every Nidhi Sanji fan as a Nidhi sister. They shouldn't see every Nidhi Sanji uh, criti cri critic like myself as someone who wants violence. No one wants violence. Here are good numbers to take a look at. This is what is going on. The females, as you're seeing here, 4 out of 800, 39 out of 773, 189 out of 701. All these numbers total 374 out of 3978, which is 9.4. And this is all the ones that they're selling, not the ones at the very back. Over here again, the, the day two, 312 out of 3978, so 7.8. And you can see all the numbers here in regards to their stuff. 32 out of 773, even the one that sold more, 150 out of 701, um, and 26 out of 767. The front sold all, pretty much the front sensor sold all. Attending 435 out of 3978. All the numbers you're seeing here, the sides are hardly sold. The center is selling 222 out of 701. So total, 7% sold on the top part, 77% sold on the bottom part. It's, you know, it's not very well. It's a big oof on there. And when it comes to the things, the actual numbers, Mason, what do they mean? And this is exactly what they mean. The fact that Hololive and others have sold out uh, in their first hour is a bit of a meme now. So we're going into some meme stuff. There's the Hololive one of the World Tour in Anime NYC sold out officially, sold out 100% within like an hour, hour and 10 minutes. And of course, we have a, a lot more, a lot more here. Uh, we have this one here. Made a thing, sorry, not sorry. Right here, it's uh, Enrica Obsidian Corporation, any kata, any kata. Uh, Mega Corporation, media conglomerate, ruthless competition, repugnant, jinxed, thrifty, rapid breeders, <laughs> traditional. So yeah, they're putting all that in there. A truly negligible Kurosanji action for Anime Expo, Nidisanji Summer Jam, Wonder Wonder World, Anime Expo 2024. They're <laughs> just looking at the world burn. Yes, of course. And another one here, Kurosanji no longer prioritizing the EN branch, other agencies, a a Aka Virtual and Vispo, trying to take advantage by entering the English market. Hollow Life Domination. They're like, wait, wait, wait. We still have Domination, but still, I mean, there is a power vacuum there. And yeah, they can still get it. I covered recently the Nidisanji uh, basketball NBA thing, which is Rakuten. Uh, and the look that they had, the look doesn't look too bad. Some of them doesn't look too bad. The art is what I showed last time. Now we're showing the actual merch that is being shown here. The actual videos, the actual, you know, photos of everything it's basically just tacked on merch whether it be lunch pails whether it be you know other things there they're doing t-shirts eastern conference t-shirts western conference they're doing uh, uh pouches the pouches which is stuff like that it looks like honestly it looks like 90s merch it looks like 1990s merch uh, just looking at it. it just looks like 1990s like just lazy merch they're doing muffler towels as well Ch chicago bulls vox Akuma, they're putting all of them there i mean this looks at the very least, the muffler towels look more interesting. They look like they're actually trying to do something interesting. Uh, but the other stuff, like, for example, over here, the keychains and, you know, the um, the plushies, things like that look like they're just, you know, plopping it on there. But it, it's probably going to sell well, to be honest with you. 
I wish it didn't, but it probably is going to sell well because of the fact it is a collab with the NBA. It's something that people are just going to be like, oh, this is something new, something not, you know, at least it's a little bit more original. You know, I swear the t-shirt design logo looks trash for me. Nothing catches my eyes, but we're talking about needy Sanji lovers. So they're going to catch their eyes, obviously. All right. This is a strange one from an indie VTuber. ID gets her entire Patreon page shut down because of using the kink term Dom, Mommy, Daddy for incest, even though it was not in the contents. So here's what happened. Patreon wrongly removed the account, posting Dom, Mommy, Audio. Individual person on Patreon has stated that Dom, Mommy, Daddy is part of their incest policy, but it's not listed in TOS. It's not listed. It does not count because BDSM is not that. So it says the state of community guidelines, which is referred to sexual activities or relationships between close relatives. Dom, Mommy, and Dom, Daddy is not actual related stuff. That is not how it works. People, uh, people who are uneducated are the ones who are making these mistakes. Um, real or animated works featuring S activity or role play interaction between family members is not allowed. Dom, Mommy, and Daddy doesn't do that. Mommy, Dom, Daddy, Dom, or other scenarios. Any content suggests it, that that stuff is a serious violation of policy. It is not. It is not actually related. The Mommy, Dom, and Daddy, Dom is kind of like the personalities of the person. It's other stuff. It's it's a it's a whole different thing. It is not related to that. It's just Patreon being dumb. Has been absolutely terrible about killing people's uh, Patreon accounts and keeping all the money for it, even though the slightest brush against the TOS since they changed a few months ago. Seriously, read into it. It's absolutely insane. Basically made it in a way that's just shy of total NSFW ban without actually being one. For example, they want you to have consent from all characters in drawn media, as even the completely fictional ones. Even having drawn a panel where they explicitly say I consent isn't enough. It's basically the old joke about making love in the missionary position for the sole purpose of procreation. Made into content moderation policy. It's really bad. No artistic freedom there. Moved away from supporting new NSW artists on Patreon and went subscriber fest for that. This neo-puritanical BS needs to end. Um, myth of artistic freedom. MasterCard and Visa push their, their stuff there. They basically say we're not going to be your payment processor if you continue doing this. And that's why they do these things. There's something dumb here, but doesn't the last image explicitly state that it's not allowed? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I, I mean, still, it's really odd. I don't know. I don't know. This one's an odd one for me. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.